Hello folks, I love using my wide mason chisel to take pallets apart. I sometimes use a reciprocating saw, sometimes I use a crowbar, but my chisel is the one I, I enjoy the best, especially on pallets like this that come apart so easily. And this really was an easy pallet to take apart. Sometimes pallets split kind of like that uh, slat there and this one kind of broke apart, but those are ones that I'm going to throw away anyway. So anyway, the reason I'm taking this pallet apart is because I entered the 2018 Pallet Upcycle Challenge that was uh, brought to me or brought to you by Simply Wooden Creations. The Pallet Upcycle Challenge ran from August 1st through August 31st of 2018. And you can see more information at www.simplywoodencreations.com. Anyway, so I took the pallet apart, as you see, and uh, then I'm going to make something out of it. So I'll continue to take this thing apart and, uh, and see what we make out of it. Before I did anything with it, I had to make sure I took all the nails out of it. Did I mention there were a lot of nails? <laughs> there sure were. Overall, this pallet had some pretty good wood in it. Not the best in the world, but I've seen worse some of it's split and like most pallets uh, you know you need to clean it up this pallet happened to be heat treated also like most of them so one of the things i made was uh, a back scratcher i took one of the two by fours that are used to lift the pallet and i used the uh, the cutout as part of the fingers that were going to actually be what, uh, what would eventually be a back scratcher. So I designed it a little, up a little bit with a pencil, just sketched on it, marked it up a little bit, and, uh, and then took it and cut it up some more. So after I was satisfied that all my marks were, were perfectly square and, uh, and aligned, I went ahead and took it and, well, you guessed it, cut it up some more. So I just took it over to the miter saw, did a few cuts, cut again and cut again. Then I went over to the band saw and did some fine cutting on the band saw, some, some rounded areas. And then I took it to the lathe and started working on the handle. I don't normally do lathe work, but I thought I'd go ahead and break out the little mid lane that I've got and, and uh, try my hand at making this look halfway acceptable. Even did a little fancy measuring to make sure that certain places were right. Then over to the scroll saw I went to work on the on the scratcher part of it, the hand part of it, the part that actually makes your body feel good when you rub up against it or when you rub it up against you, starting to come together. Get a little sanding, get a little more sanding. a little more sanding and it's starting to come together you can kind of see where it's starting to round out and it's actually starting to look like a, a little paw or a little hand or a little scratching mechanism i think you can see here how it's starting to come together how it's starting to round out it's not perfect but I bet you it'll scratch really good. Went ahead and did a little hand sanding to it just to, to give it the final touches before I actually put some type of finish on it. Before I did though, I took it over to the belt sander and gave it one last sanding at the bottom so, it, so the handle was smooth. Then came the stained golden pecan 
one of my favorites. I could have put a gloss on these, but I decided just to leave them without any type of glossy finish and just the stain that I put on it. I ended up making two of these, but I certainly will be making more. It's amazing what you can actually make from just a palette. Something that is usually being thrown away and it's just by the side of the road. So I hope you've liked uh, the video. Um, please like and subscribe and follow. And uh, maybe I'll see you down the road. Maybe you'll see me. And remember, no matter what you do, do it just for fun. So there you have it. So come see us at these other social media sites. Thank you so much.